Yo, so one of the first things that I plan to do in MLB 21 is try to get some of the team affinities done. So today I figured I would make a video going over all the cards, at least at the time of recording this video, have been revealed as team affinity rewards. If y'all are watching right now, we're aiming for 300 or more likes, 100 or more new subscribers. I stream daily for MLB 21, at least I plan to over on twitch 20 gaming tv on there all these links should be down in the description and in the comments let me know if you had to pick one player from the team affinity rewards that you're most excited for let me know down in the comment section i don't think i could honestly choose just one right now and these are going to be in no particular order but i wanted to mention that while i'm recording this video the brewers mariners marlins rays rockies and white Sox rewards have not been revealed but i would assume that they most likely will be revealed either today tomorrow or sometime on thursday over on mlb the show's twitter i'm gonna try to go through these as quick as i can but i definitely want to point out the ones when we get to them that i'm looking forward to most with that being said i plan to try to get all 30 of them when mlb 21 comes around i want to try to get all the teams done and for this video today we're going to be starting with the angels shout out to coogs their reward is david fletcher you'll notice that this one and some of the others were able to have the attributes for the card and i'm pretty sure that's only been the case when someone has revealed the card that is not mlb the show right someone specifically like for this one coogs revealed the card i think that's the only time that we're going to have attributes right now at least for these team affinity rewards and just david fletcher to start off high contact low power high vision great contact hitter should be really good early on and having that diamond defense pair with the diamond hittings gonna be great to start the year next up is your don alvarez for the astros and i don't think i have one reward that i'm looking forward to most but your don is definitely a guy that i want on my team typically when i'm scoring runs it seems to be from home runs and your don has one of my favorite swings in the game i loved his gold and i'm gonna be 20 his live series card so i feel like this is a card that i want to try to get day one or two and try him out for my ranked team next up is jesus lizardo for the athletics and for him and i feel like any other pitcher who is a reward for this stage one of the team affinities for the 42 series i feel like i really am just going to need to see their pitch selection velocity and overall attributes and how their motion is how they release the ball to determine if i'm going to like the card and for me what i really really personally want from my starting pitchers is a sinker a change up and a slider hopefully a cutter in addition to those but those are really the four pitches that i rely on the most next up is bo bichette for the blue jays bo bichette for me personally has a really good swing and mlb the show so i'm really excited to get my hands on this card try him out good mix of contact power and vision with some decent fielding and everything like that some okay speed so i feel like this is just a really well-rounded card and i definitely want to try him out because like i said i love his swing now we have dansby swanson for the braves he's somebody where i really haven't used his cards a whole lot so i definitely want to get him try him out but he's not someone i'm necessarily looking forward to quite a bit but i definitely like all of these guys want to try him out now we have the one that i revealed a jack flaherty for the cardinals I like his pitch selection, four seam slider, knuckle curve, sinker, and a changeup. Like I said for my starters, I love it when they have a sinker and a change. I wish he had a cutter too, but I think it'll be fine. 86 stamina, but what stands out to me is 96 hits per nine. If I'm not mistaken, the hits per nine attribute, the higher it is, the smaller it makes the PCI of your opponent's batter. So having 96 this early on in the year, I feel like should be really good. Some decent velocity, not terrible, but not amazing. Some good break on his pitches. And as y'all can see at the bottom, toggle pitch attributes. So I'm really interested to see the specific control ratings for each pitch. I'm assuming that's what it is and what that button means down at the bottom left. Then we have Jason Hayward for the Cubs. I feel like this should be a good card early on in the year. He's got a good swing. I feel like I like a lot of player swings now that I've been talking about him and kind of think about it a little bit. But for me, he's got a good swing. Having a good outfielder early on in the game would be huge if you want somebody like this on your team. And again, 
Just like everybody, he's somebody that I want to try out and just see how I do with. Then we have Cattell Marte for the Diamondbacks, and he's definitely in my top five. No matter what top 10, I would say probably top five, maybe top three for Team Affinity rewards for stage one that I want. I love Cattell Marte's swing. I love switch hitters. Diamond switch hitters are even better, and I feel like this card will be one that I go after on day one. Then we have Max Muncy for the Dodgers, another guy I just love. Max Muncy swinging MLB the show. His live series, I believe, was a gold for most of, if not all, the year in MLB 20. I loved him in BR. I can't wait to see how I do with a diamond version of Max Muncy. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Next up, shout out to your friend Kyle. We have Mike Yastrzemski from the Giants. Another guy, man. I love Yastrzemski's swing. I believe he had a finest card in 20. I want to say he did. I hope I'm not wrong with that, and I loved it. I loved his live series card. And I feel like I'm going to just fall in love with this card as well. He's definitely another guy that I want to pick up, try out. And God, there's just so many good rewards for this stage one of Team Affinity. It's going to be so much fun. Next up is Fran Mill Reyes for the Indians. And I would say he's in my top five. I would say Fran Mills definitely secured a spot in my top five. I love his live series card swing. So I feel like this should just be even better. Again, I mentioned it earlier, but I love power hitters. I score most of my runs from home runs. Fran Mill Reyes, I think, could get me some runs, could get me some home runs. And I need this card on day one or two. On to the Mets, we have Dominic Smith. I don't think I've ever really used too many Dominic Smith cards. So he's going to be another guy where I'm interested to see how I do with him, how the card plays. And he's just one of those guys where I'm going to want to try him out and see how it goes. Now we have Patrick Corbin for the Nationals. And again, with all the pitchers, for me, it's going to be I need to see their pitch selection, how the ball is coming out of their hands. I feel like I enjoyed using Patrick Corbin the little bit that I did. And I'm going to be 20. So I'm interested to get my hands on him, see how he does, what he's like and if i do well with him or not now we have anthony santander from the orioles another switch hitter he had a finest card in mlb 20 i loved that card so i feel like i should love this one as well early on having diamond switch hitters are going to be so i just feel like amazing right you know having somebody like santander or it could tell marcy i feel like it's going to be just really really good for diamond dynasty and i can't wait for this one he's definitely in my top 10 i don't know if i'd say top five but he's in my top 10 for ones that i want for sure now we have trent grisham for the padres i feel like just being on a team with you know machado tatis now you darvish blake snell obviously eric hosmer but just a really good team i feel like he maybe sometimes gets a little bit overshadowed i don't know about a lot of bit but a little bit overshadowed i've always loved trent grisham i love his cards i like the fact that he doesn't use batting gloves i want him on my no batting gloves team build later in the year i like his swing i have a feeling i'm gonna love his card for the 42 series now we have cabrian hayes for the pirates who i'm personally really excited about i can't wait to try out this card i don't know how i'm gonna do with it he's one that i'm just like yes i need this card i don't know how it's gonna go but i really 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 want to try it out and i'll definitely try to get him i would assume in the first week or two of the game next up is andrew mccutcheon for the phillies i love Andrew McCutcheon cards ever since I probably I'm be 15 I've been using Andrew McCutcheon cards having a lot of fun with him I like his swing and I can't wait to try out this one see how he does for me next up is Joey Gallo for the Rangers and he's no matter what in my top five I would say probably top three not 100% I need to make that list a little bit though but I need Joey Gallo, especially early on when you don't have the super high tier pitchers. We don't have 99 overall guys. Somebody like Gallo with lower contact, lower vision, he's going to do a lot better earlier on than maybe later in the year. So I need to get my hands on him early and just start racking up the dingers. I can't wait. Now we have Luis Castillo for the Reds. I want to say his live series card for me and one of the ESL qualifiers just carried me. He's who popped up in a gold round and was the only real choice that I felt like I had, and he just carried me a little bit. So I think this card's gonna be fun to use. I wanna see his pitch selection, velocity, all of that stuff. 
and try him out see if he makes my starting rotation for the first few weeks first month or so next up is xander bogarts for the red sox i haven't used xander cards a whole lot i've used his live series one and br a little bit but not enough to really get a feel for how much i like his swing so i want to get my hands on him try him out see how he does see if he can find himself a spot on my starting roster now we have salvador perez from the royals i feel like this is gonna be the card you see i don't know about most but maybe most that's honestly where i was going with it i feel like this might be the card you see most for people from stage one team affinities good catchers especially early on in the year are hard to come by and he's got a decent glove some decent hitting i feel like you're gonna see this card quite a bit i know that i'm probably looking towards him as my starting catcher for at least the first few weeks of the game next up is nico goodrum for the tigers i don't have a whole lot to say about him except for i love his live series card in battle royale so that makes me really really want to try him out and just see if i can continue that success into this card and into ranked seasons second to last card of the video is jose barrios from the twins again with all pitchers gotta see their stuff gotta see pretty much how i do with him because for me attributes don't seem to matter a ton a big part of it for me is pitch selection but you know guys could have really good hits per nine or something like that and i still struggle so it depends on the pitch selection a little bit their windup and i guess maybe a little bit of a personal feel because it's hard for me to find pitchers that i can consistently do well with and last but not least i think the last card for my top five i don't even know if i had five cards that i saw were in my top five or three in my top three but stanton Giancarlo stanton and parma Giancarlo from the yankees man oh my goodness if you guys were around about a year ago actually a little bit over a year now live series stanton was on my ranked seasons team and he carried me to world series that first season so i'm hoping that this card can carry me to world series in the first ranked season for mlb 21 diamond dynasty i can't wait man stanton is a beast one of my favorite swings and i'm gonna be the show oh my goodness i'm excited for this card and that's gonna be it for the cards again a few teams that we did not have there's a chance that you guys are watching this video a few more of them have been revealed if that is the case maybe someone in the comments could have an updated list for when we get the brewers mariners marlins rays rockies and white Sox rewards that'd be awesome i could try to update it if i remember to as well but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i can't wait to see in the comments who you are most excited for from the stage one at team affinity rewards like comment subscribe social medias all that good stuff i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day thank you guys for watching i'll see you tomorrow